Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to cover adding an additional network card to our Citrix Zen server system. Uh, so as you can see, we only have two network cards right now, NIC0 and NIC1. So what we'll do, go ahead and do is we'll power down this uh, Zen server. And I actually have the Zen server running as a VMware Workstation virtual machine. So we'll go ahead and watch it go through the process of shutting down. And then once that's complete, we'll go ahead and add the network adapter. All right, now that the virtual machine is powered off, uh, we'll go ahead and modify the settings and add a third network adapter. Go ahead and modify the settings for my particular setup. And we'll go ahead and power back on the virtual machine. All right, our server's back up, so we'll go ahead and reconnect Zen Center. All right, so we'll come back to the NICs, and we still see we only have NIC 0 and NIC 1. All right, so at this point, we'll go to the console and begin the process of introducing the new network interface to the server. So we'll go XE PIF list. So you can see we still only have two listed. So we'll go XE PIF scan. And it's asking for the host ID. In this case, we only have one host in this pool. So go ahead and run that XE PIF dash list. All right, so we can now see we have uh, ETH2 uh, added as an interface. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and XE PIF uh, plug and it will ask us for the UID and we'll go 9A we'll use tab completion to finish the rest. So we'll go IF config dash A and we can see here ETH2 and it's also added uh, a Zen bridge too. So go ahead and check the NICs. All right, NIC2. And it went ahead and added a network for us as well. So network two is uh, NIC2. All right, so this video has covered uh, adding a, an additional network interface to your Citrix Zen server.